Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, and ZZ Mark is um, delivering the goods today. Yes. He's, yes. On, he's on a mission. He's on a mission. Yeah. Um, involves airplanes, involves vehicles, Florida. I, I don't know. I, I don't. We I, don't ask we, questions. Yeah, we, we don't ask questions. So, so anyhow, <laughs> super thanks is Dale Huff. Thanks, Thank Dale. you, sir. And Dave's not here. That's Dave. And Russ Oles. Hey, Russ, I got it right, I think. Russ Oles, he said it means owl in German. It does, yeah. So there you go. Dave McGuire, McGuire & Sons Sawmill. Go check him out on YouTube. Uh, he runs a, like a Timber King type of yeah. mill. And uh, that's what we started. That's what we started with, a yeah. little Timber King M14 mill. And I hadn't seen some videos for a while, but uh, how you doing, Dave? Thank you. And my brother, Joe. Thank hey, you, Joe. Joe. Thank you, Joe. And we have a couple birthday shout-outs. Dale Huff, he's going to be 67 on May 22nd. Happy so birthday, Happy Dale. birthday. And Richard Goodhue, 74th birthday was yesterday. So happy, happy birthday. birthday. 74 years old. So thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to give you a birthday shout-out. And guess what? We got our first our first school bus license plate and this is from james bodel and uh, he's from uh, what part of ohio i don't even have my reading glasses on but he said his dad drove school bus back in 1964 yeah when this plate and feel how heavy that is oh geez so that's our first uh first school bus plate thank you that's so nice. much thank you and uh and school bus and bus motor you know Kind of the same thing. Um, this is kind of interesting here. Something just to show. This was a, a log that we were going to solve. And this is the importance of that Wren's uh, P4000 metal detector. It had found this. And this was way in the center of the log right here. So there it is. A big old, uh, oh, big old eye bolt. Could you imagine what that would have done to the blade? So people talk about metal detection. Well, there it is. I kept that chunk of wood, and I was splitting firewood the other night, and I said, I'm going to put that on there. Yeah. And I, I wasn't expecting to find that. Oh, that would have hurt you there. Yeah, that, that, there would have been there would been holes in the roof. It would have been bad. Um, what do we got going today, Eddie? Oh, we got light stuff to make today. We're going to make uh, one by threes, and we're going to make one by ones. Yeah, and this is for the galvanizing plant, yeah. and they are making, I guess they scrape the, uh, the, the times, zinc tank. Throw them away. Yeah, so they catch fire, and then... We cut more, so. Well, let's get her done. Let's get going. Okay, everybody, I've got the bus motors running already. I'm waiting for Eddie to get the blade going here. And we're gonna saw them uh, one by one and one by three sticks, so. Let's wait for the, wait for the blade to get going. <clears throat> I have no hydraulics until that happens. And these are short pieces, so I'm gonna saw them on two head blocks. And um, there we go. Now I got hydraulics. Hydraulics are a wonderful thing. So we're going to saw them on these two blocks right here since this is a shorty. And that's a nice spaced head block there. He's a little juicy. So let me open up, open the knees up a little bit more. All right, we'll start with that. I just want to make sure I got enough to get it with the master dog. It'll, it should work. Let's open them knees up just a little bit more. It's a big log. I just want to get through it with the saw one time. <clears throat> Mr. Master Dog, cut it. I'm going to bump it forward a little bit. Now I'm going to hit my dog's tongue just to make sure I was tight to the face. All right, let's start there. Basically, you just want to get, get a good flat 
less fun established when you're dealing with big logs. And here's where we can use our chainsaw. Eddie's going to go Paul Bunyan on us. And no, we don't have an ads. No, we don't have a electric planer. We don't have, but we do have the axe. So, thank you. But we will have a cordless chainsaw here in June. Get it down on the head blocks. And we'll work for our magic number. Everything's good. No problems. Chewy likes this. up a little bit and I'm not worried about that's gonna be a little bit out square we'll make it back up at the end here so let's just keep moving forward here and the closer I get to the magic number less work we have to do. I'm going to take one more. Take one more off. That gets us real close. Paul Bunyan on that for a second. It's all good. Everything will be okay in the end. And I got to try to show the kitty cats on the end of this video. Bring my chainsaw, I got that little low 28, which would have been good, but you know what? We're alright. <clears throat> He's just gonna make a path right where we need it. Paul Bunyan Horvath. Good enough. Good enough, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Good. Yeah, she was a little fat. Put them dogs out of the way when I'm turning something like this. There we go. Boom. Back the knees up again. number on this. I'm just looking for something to edge out. There we go. There's our first. This will be our first usable board here. The reason we went with this particular log, it was clear. Turn that down while we got a nice flat bed. 
face there. We're not going to have no issues when we get this one out. And then we'll square the other faces up as we come around. Uh oh, we got... Uh... Did we hit something, man? I don't know what he's looking at. I don't know. Let me go take a look at here. Stack them and whack them. 
We haven't done that for a while.
Now number two head block, there's been a few issues and I couldn't figure out what it was. Well, I found out I got some weak springs on the uh, returns on them dogs. So, thanks to dog cam, I was able to figure this out. So, and we do have a fast forward button. Use it. into the pit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that back. And I'm going to run this down to a six and a quarter. And that way we'll be able to really deal with that pit at the end and waste I gotta get that piece of bark off at the top of that. Alright. Otherwise, when I go to turn it again, that was stuck to there. It'll end up on the darn... Uh, end up on the head box where I don't want it. Alright, I'm just going to hit a full set here. We'll keep continuing on. That board might be a little bit of catty wampus, but it'll be alright. I'm sorry. Sawing in a little stubby fat log. Get one more, then a little thin one, and then we're going to start cutting. So three inches off, two at a time. All right, let's go to six and a quarter. There we go, that'll give us a double three. All right. I told Eddie, when we go to, when we go to do the stack and whack, we're gonna do it on the first two head blocks. I need some knee adjustment on this mill. I'll take you along sometime and I gotta do a little bit of tweaking. Noticed a few things are a little bit out. Alright, so we're gonna get back up to Mr. Laser again. There he is. We're gonna cut into that pith. Good. Let's just keep it. Let's keep it going. All right, we're going to turn it right now. I can see the quarter song face. We'll probably sneak another one. Just trying to give them the best product that I can. Put that in the remainder. That'll, that'll be in the end. We'll get rid of it.
good there. Let's tighten it up a little bit. Three's on the bottom when we're done here. So anyhow, we don't need headsets, but he wasn't sure what I was saying. be part of Friday Eve's video.
for some nice pieces, really. Bunch of them in a hurry. It just takes a little while. Once we get that new edger, if we ever get that new edger, I'm starting to give up now. Give, giving up on that thing, but. Our rollers are way out of whack here. We keep slamming that heavy stuff off of there. And, don't help. I don't know if anybody used to watch old Mike McCoy that was mothered me down there stacking them things. I still got to get that other plaque made up. Just too many things that need done. Same order again. Nine and a half. Boy, look at that flecking in there. Getting some true quarter sawn face there. We'll start making some one by ones. We have another log to do. We're going to save that for the Friday video. We've only been sawing for 45 minutes total today, and we've already got a lot done. We film so much and then we don't film for a while and it just takes a while to when you're filming it takes a lot longer. Load them up, Betty. Now if he can put a square edge to the back. What I'm going to do is once I got the front determined where I want it, I'm going to start pulling up. You got more? Load them up. Load them up on there. And they'll basically edge themselves off. Once we get that front taken care of, I'll be pulling some sticks off below. Go back. We need to go back more. Yeah. I'm going to take this down to where we're all squared up. We're going to flip them one time. Let's see what Mr. Laser tells us to do here. I'm not going to waste a bunch of the time here. So I'm going to do is start taking some one-by-ones off the bottom. Chevy 
one by one we cut. You'll see what will happen here in a second. You take a chance of putting crap between the saw butt. You also get usable. There's two sticks that would have went in the slab pile. Stock tape them together in 25 packs. I'll take it down just a little bit more so it's easier for them to flip. People cut stickers this way, but I argue that you sure don't want wet sticks. Alright, I'm going to let them flip these over now. bit lighter. I don't know Eddie, that's a lot of weight there. Watch your fingers guys. Now it looks like a deck of cards. this process all over again. Let's go back to Mr. Laser. There he is. We'll get two off the top and then the other ones get cleaned up. There you go. Then I'll end up with a one by three at the very end. And they can sort the bad ones out. Everybody been asking how's the kitty cats doing so we got your little kitty cat cam and we'll zoom in here how cute they are little black and white kitty cats so anyhow they're in a safe place underneath the sawmill here let me put my my little light back where it belongs and I use that for adjusting my um, set works and it's been raining all day, just one of them miserable days. So we got the um, we got the uh, order cut, 100 one by ones, and 100 one by threes. We made you a Friday Eve, or no, we didn't make a Friday Eve video. We're going to do that. In fact, the Friday Eve video is sitting right here. 
There it is. Another stick of nice red oak. And we'll do that for the Friday Eve video. And uh, I don't think I'm going to do no dog cam in there. Right, Eddie? That's right. Dog cam makes people upset. Them kitties, they're just, they, yeah, wait, they're they wait for that saw. They just, they, you wouldn't believe it, they sleep through that. I got sawdust all over me from going down in the kitty cat pit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't got nothing to show you as far as what we cut because Eddie hauled it out of here. I wanted to get it out. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's ready it's for gone. pickup anyhow. So, yeah, it's all gone. So, hey, thanks for coming along. Uh, do us a favor. Please hit the like button. Yes. Please subscribe if you haven't, and please share it with somebody. Let's get this channel to grow. And also, go over and check out our store and uh, get yourself some nice merchandise and pick yourself up a boom plaque. A boom plaque, a The Eddie hat. Yeah, The Eddie I mean, hat. We, we, uh, have it we got all. stickers. Uh, we're working on a new shirt. Uh, if Johan Boss is watching this video, I'll be getting in touch with you. And yeah. he has some people that can help us. So uh, we're going to get this thing rolling. Johan's a good guy. Oh, yeah. yeah so. We like him. All right, everybody. Thanks right, again. Thank you. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.